dear students welcome to the online learning today we will be learning about chapter number 4 that is basic geometrical ideas topic will be introduction so let us begin with our today's topic that is with introduction part so here we will learn about the word geometry geometry is a word that is derived from two latin words that is by geo and metron which means earth and measurement geometry is all about shapes and their properties children every day we came across different objects of different object like if we talk about your textbook boxes ball tables can tiles that are spread it on the floor or about the cardboard box or like this we have many more different object of different shapes so all this different objects of different shapes are what they all are geometrical shapes that we found every day every day practically everywhere in our day to day life in basic geometry we study about points line angles surface and solids so all this topic children we will learn it one by one so i hope you have understood what is geometry yes geometry is all about shapes and their property which is derived from two latin words that is by geo and metron which means earth and measurement so let us study one by one all this concept today so first of all we will learn what is point a point in geometry is a location it has no size and that means no length no width and no point and a point is shown by a small dot as you can see it on the screen we have a point and that point we have shown by a small dot and we represented this small dot by a capital letter a so always we denote a point by a capital letter such as a f z m etc is it clear now we will learn about line a line is a straight set of points that extends in opposite directions without ending is it clear so let us see it through the help of figure children you can see we have a straight set of point okay which is extended in opposite directions now you will see that it will not end and it will be extended in opposite direction without ending is it clear if we have any line drawn and marked as ab so that we can denote it as line ab or line ba even we can represent any line by small letter l or by small letter m is it clear a line is a straight set of points that extends in opposite direction without ending fine children now let us know what is ray a ray is a portion of a line what is ray a ray is a portion of a line okay it starts at one point called as a starting point and it goes endlessly in a direction fine children a point where the ray start is called ending point so children you can see a figure here we have a portion of a line fine now you can see that this portion of a line it goes endlessly in one direction fine now if we have a portion of a line drawn and we have marked it as ab then we can represent that ray as ray ab now we will learn what is line segment so children a line segment is a part of a line that is bounded by two distinct end points let us see it through the help of figure you can see here we have a part of line drawn 
and that part of a line is bounded by two distinct end points so one point is x another point is y as you can see it through the figure shown on the screen if we have written a name as x y at end points then this line segment we can denote it by line segment x y or as like line segment y x here its two end points are x and y now we will learn what is plane so children a plane is a flat surface which extends indefinitely in all direction now you see it on the screen the figure what it shows here we have a plane and it is a flat surface which is extended indefinitely in all direction a plane has length and breadth but no thickness so it cannot be drawn completely on paper in practice only a portion of a plane is drawn and represented by a parallelogram or rectangle as you can see it on the figure drawn now after that let us know what is intersecting lines so children intersecting lines are those line which are formed when two distinct lines meeting at a point means let us understand this through the help of the figure present on the screen you can see here we have two distinct lines and that they are meeting each other at one point that is marked as o so that particular point which is marked as o is called as point of intersection so children when we have two different line and when they are extended so while extending when they meet each other at a point that point is called as point of intersection whereas when they intersect each other that line becomes intersecting lines so let us understand this intersecting line through the help of one more figure here you can see that we have one line that we have named as pq whereas the another line you can see that we have named as rs when we extended this both the line they are meeting each other at one point that we have marked as t so here t becomes your point of inter section this much is clear now let us come to the parallel lines what is parallel lines so children always remember that parallel lines they never intersect each other parallel lines are those line that goes in the same direction and will never meet each other is it clear parallel lines they remains at the same distance apart at all the times and we represent this parallel line through the help of two vertical lines is it clear parallel lines are those line that go in the same direction and will never meet each other clear this much now let us come to the try this question on the basis of today's learning so children this try this question you have to solve it in your notebook along with the today's topic whatever we have discussed you have to write it completely in your notebook so let us see what is your first question first question with a sharp tip of pencil mark four point on a paper and try to name this points is it clear now your second question a star in the sky also gives us an idea of a point identify at least five such situations in your daily life clear this much now what does your third question says name the line segment that are given in figure 4.1 
टू दस मंच इज क्लियर यू हैव टू नेम द लाइन सेगमेंट्स बाय रेफरिंग द फिगर फोर पॉइंट टू आफ्टर दैट यू हैव टू ऑल्सो टेल वेदर ए इज द एंड पॉइंट ऑफ ईच लाइन सेगमेंट और नॉट फाइन नाउ कम टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर नेम द रेज गिवेन इन द पॉइंट इन द फिगर फोर पॉइंट एट You have to name the rays that are given in the figure 4.8, and you have to tell whether T is a starting point of each of this rays or not. So, for question number three, your figure is given on the screen. So, for question number three, you have to refer figure 4.2. that is visible on the screen whereas for question number 4 you have to refer figure 4.8 this much is clear so you have to solve all the question in your notebook along with the all topic that we have discussed in today's video so children i hope you have understood whatever we have learned complete your notebook so thank you children